KAWAGOE, Japan. At the quietest sport at the quietest Olympics, a legion of volunteers in bucket hats and blue ombre performance wear polos held up paddles that said quiet in Japanese on one side and English on the other. In the absence of other sensory experiences it felt like you could hear the heat. It sounded like the low drone of cicadas unless pierced by a crow, and taste the humidity. Although maybe that was just the perspiration accumulating on the inside of my mask. The smell, of course, was of grass. Grass and sweat. Five hours later, Xander Shoffley, a 27-year-old from San Diego, took home gold to applause from what was certainly one of the biggest crowds to witness an Olympic win this year. As the final group had made their way through the course, the trail of spectators grew, volunteers abandoning their posts at holes that were done for the men's tournament. On the 18th hole, hundreds of people, at least, held their breath as he sunk a four-foot par putt for a four under 67 in the final round and hard-won victory. The throngs lined up along the rope, including dozens of volunteers holding signs advising social distancing, cheered, and someone yelled, USA. It was his first tournament victory in two and a half years and comes after several close calls, but no wins, in major championships. Afterwards, his father and coach, Stefan Shoffley, said that he had felt nothing the whole day, until it was over. But now, just thinking about those moments, you know the podium. I'm choking up, he said. The entire experience was particularly resonant for the elder Shoffley, who was an Olympic decathlon hopeful growing up until a drunk driver hit his car, leaving the then 20-year-old blind in one eye. Xander Shoffley earned the Olympic gold medal in Tokyo. Photo by Ramsey Cardi, Sportsfile via Getty Images. Xander Shoffley becomes the first American golfer to win Olympic gold since 1900. It wasn't contested from 1908 to 2012, and he started the final day atop the leaderboard, looking dominant on the front nine. And then, on the 14th hole with a two-shot lead, he drove the ball into a thicket of trees. He took an unplayable lie thinned his third shot when he clipped a tree branch on his backswing, but escaped with a bogey after a clutch putt. That left him tied for Rory Sabatini, whose Olympic record round of 61 moved him from seven shots back to gold medal contention on the final day. Sabatini, born in South Africa and residing in the States, represents Slovakia, the home country of his wife and caddy for the day, Martina Stofanikova. Shoffley stayed tied with Sabatini, who was several groups ahead of him, until the 17th hole, where a birdie gave him a one-stroke lead and solo possession of first place. Sabatini finished with the silver medal. If not for the pandemic barring fans, who can't claim to be volunteers, Shoffley would have had dozens of family members in attendance.